how could you? The God of greatness simply loves someone like me. And why would you? So pure and holy, see my faults, yet meet my needs. I'll never know or understand, Lord, what you see in me. But I'm glad to know your perfect plan includes me for eternity welcome to euphonious explorations i'm your host richard bino and tonight we'll be featuring magnificent artists maria brea soprano and sukura myers concert pianist this portion of the concert will be featuring el mara de la maja the Sight of the Young Lady by Enrique Granados. Prelude in G sharp minor, opus 32, number 12, by Sergei Rachmaninoff. Ne poi crasa vista premier, do not ever sing to me again, okay. by Sergei Rachmaninoff. Passion medley by Joseph Jover. Give Me Jesus by Moses Hogan. It's interesting to hear the talent when you look at a person, you say, wow, interesting, looking, but then you hear them play and you hear them sing. And you wonder, well, how did that start? Where did you, where did you learn how to do that? Um, well, I think it's almost the same case like Sakura. I am... I come from a family of musicians. My mm -hmm. father is a guitarist, okay. and my mother, she sings very beautiful. And so music was always around me, oh, okay. and um, so I couldn't resist. So you, you grew up around music? I grew up around music, like how, how popular old were music. You? How old were you when you realized you really wanted to just sing? When I realized that I wanted to be an opera singer, yes. I was 11. 11. My, father, mm -hmm, my father brought me a CD of cantatas, okay. of Bach. And I told him that I really wanted to do that with my life. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided that I was going to go to the conservatory and study in Caracas, Venezuela. And after you went, what happened after that? I mean, certain things happened in your life to um, give you that drive to continue because a lot of people are inspired when they're young, but for some reason they're sidestepped. So what happened to you? What was that final thrust for your first concert? Well, I, I knew that this is what I wanted to do. Like, it was so here in my heart, like, this is what I want to do. This is, even I left my country, I, I come from Venezuela, mm -hmm. and I came here all the way, leaving my family, well, not leaving them, but you know, leaving them there, kind of. And um, I came here to do this because this is what I want to do. This is what drives me, like, I cannot, I wouldn't do anything else. The first concert, professional concert that you did was where? In my country. In your country. And <laughs> what was that about? Um, my first concert was, yes. um, well, being an opera singer was a recital okay. in, the, in the school, mm -hmm. Escuela Superior de Musica Jose Angel Lamas. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember I sang Se Florindo FDL, and oh, I was so nervous. Beautiful. We were all dressing in black, and my mother was there, my father was there, my sister was okay. there. It's a family thing. Family mm -hmm. A family thing. thing. Right. And I really enjoyed it. Okay. And I knew for sure that that's this what was I wanted it. to do. Mm -hmm. Well, my story wasn't yeah. so uh, focused. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, that I'm focused. <laughs> no. What, what was um, I was three and a half, and my mom said I walked up to the piano and fingered the I keys. just started playing. As if I knew what I was doing. So she took me to the local conservatory, mm -hmm. Westchester Conservatory, and White Plains, and they gave me some musical aptitude tests. Okay. And I guess I passed, and I started Suzuki Method. And I think I had my first recital when I was like four. Four years old. And yeah. And where was that? In White Plains. White Plains. Yeah, White Plains, New York. And then I don't know. I don't really know what happened. Um, I didn't really practice that much. Okay. And I loved music. Music was in my family. My mom's an opera singer as well. Uh -huh. 
your but, but let me just stop. Your first professional uh, concert was where? Oh, I don't know. You don't remember? No. Think back. You know, just you played for other people. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. I, give me a couple of names. From the time I was young, I guess I don't remember. You don't I remember mean, some of the, the must be some people that we uh, might know. Well, someone that's a when novice. I was in high school, um, I was a two-time winner of the ACTO competition. Okay. And I was featured on Good Morning America See? here in New York. So I think I was 17, 17 at the time. So from 4 to 17, <coughs> you... Uh, from 4 to 17, I did everything. You did it all. I played basketball. We were New York State champions. I was a nationally ranked fencer. Okay. Um, yeah, piano was just something I did. Do you play any other instrument? I played clarinet uh, for area all-state orchestra and band principal. Great. And I played cello. All right. Collaboration. What's it like with you two working together? It's a pleasure, actually. Um, working with Maria is a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, singers have uh, a, a poor reputation in the musical world. Does she? No. But she's a very smart singer. Okay. You know, she's very smart. She has lots of ideas. Mm -hmm. It's good to work with. About creating new music. Yeah, new ideas. New ideas. You know, looking into the score, mm -hmm. really making sure that we're in sync. Okay. I think we work well together. We have very good chemistry that way. Well, where, where is the music going uh, from this point on? Is there a new direction or is there variations on this theme? What do you think about that? I think we, we create our future, so we don't have to follow any, any path. You well, here we are in the show. It's uh, really glad that I'm glad that you were able to come and show your talents because uh, we've been waiting, and now you're here, and thank you for the beautiful work that you do, and keep it up. Oh, 
Part of our program features countertenor Andrew Darling Hammond. and Professor Elmer Hammond. Perfect. He will be performing spirituals arranged by Hall Johnson. What is a countertenor? A countertenor is someone that sings a lot of early music, so the Baroque period, Renaissance. Um, basically, we arrived from the castrati. Okay. What they used to castrate the young boys yes. at the age of like 12, 12 years to old. preserve their voice, the high register. Um, and so we sing a lot of early music okay. of that time. So since that's not happening now, mm -hmm. how did you get into this line of singing counter tenor? Well, I always knew I can sing high. I was singing okay. soprano yes. in my church choir. Um, that was pretty cool. <laughs> the church choir, that's where you started? Yeah. And then from there, what uh, what did you do? And then I went to school for and they found out um, New Jersey State University. New Jersey, okay. Whoop, whoop. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Plug for them, okay. Uh, yeah, I went to New Jersey State University, and, mm -hmm. and we were doing, um, I guess you can call it a sacred piece, but it's not so sacred. What it was, was the, the sacred doing piece? the Karina Barano, oh, okay. and I was doing this song called Olam La Cusco Lueda, and it. It's about a dying swan, okay. where people are trying to eat me, so I have to do all you this. To, oh, so and was, so I did the song. Of characterization of and, theater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I did the Were song for juries. No, 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 no. Costumes. This was okay. just for a regular jury, oh, okay. so I was just in a regular suit. Okay. So I did the song, and on my jury sheets, everyone kept saying, count to tenor, count to tenor, and some people kept making fun of me, saying, ha ha, I met so, yeah. you know, laugh out loud, but yeah. So basically, that's a high-pitched voice. Yeah. Counter tenor. Mm -hmm. Now that we're not doing all of those things that they were doing to young boys in the earlier days to get that high voice. No. Uh, what kind of study uh, did you have to go through to maintain what you felt you had as a young a from a young age? And how can someone that might be even interested get involved? Is there a school or someplace that they can go? I don't think you can. It's not something that you can just say, I'm a counter tenor, you know. Okay. You know, you really have to have that particular range of the voice okay. already. When you say range, what, what kind of range? I mean, from um, so it's like from middle C maybe to high G okay. in soprano mm -hmm. um, alto range. So that's G. Mm -hmm.
uh, only boys of counter tenor? Yes, because okay. tenor, tenor okay. is a man. Oh, well, okay. You know, there yeah. are contraltos who can sing well. Okay. But that's a um, female, so right. yeah, it's only a guy. Oh, that's really, um, I, I just wanted to know, when, when you started singing, how old were you? As far as I can remember, I was singing. It so. seems like you've almost in, instilled in an individual yeah. when, you know, you just, I sing in the shower and I turn the water off because it doesn't take long to know that those notes aren't working. <laughs> so, so many people <laughs> would love to be able to do what you do. Mm -hmm. Is there uh, any training that a person can take if they're Well, interested? I trained in school, of course, for the, the classic arts. You, of course, you have to do some how training. Long, how long of a, a um, study? Well, if you want to do opera, okay. most people start their actual career at the age of 30. Oh. So you have this long oh. line oh. where you're doing these young artist programs, okay. where you're doing these apprenticeships, where you're doing your graduate studies. And then by the age of 30, then people want to hear your voice because that's when the voice really matures. I so, see. Is there anyone that uh, you can mention that you studied with that we might know? Um, I don't know if you know him, well. but he, he lives in New York. Okay. So uh, my teacher's name is Mark Nicholson. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, the same school, right? Yes. All right. There you go. Give another plug. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's good to have you on the show. Thank you. And I can't wait to hear. Wow, you thank you. Those wonderful tunes. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Do 
pit you. The God of greatness simply loves someone like me. And why would you, so pure and holy, see my faults, yet meet my needs? I'll never know or understand, Lord, what you see in me. But I'm glad to know your perfect plan. Eternity. It must be love. It must be love. In spite of who I am, Lord, you can. scarred and torn there's room for me inside your heart I can find no other reason but this one it must be love Lord you keep turning my curses to blessings that's your love and nothing else forgiving my sins and forgetting that's your love and nothing less Lord if I could give my everything Lord it wouldn't be enough for every good Must be.